I'll give you a science corner example. There's this Evo2 model that they publish at the ARC Institute, which Patrick Collison, you know, is the main funder and chairman. So that Evo2 model, they just ingested all the DNA data they could find in the world. Trillions and trillions of base pair of data that they ingested. And then they looked at patterns in DNA. And that's it. They had no context for what the DNA represented. They had no context for the concept of genes, none of the structured understanding of what that DNA does, what it is. And you know what it did? They fed in the BRCA gene variant and the thing output a warning saying, I think that this is a pathogenic variant to DNA without having any context. This is the, the breast cancer allele. And it didn't have any knowledge and it, did, it wasn't trained on that at all. It had no knowledge that there are pathogenic variants for cancer, and it identified that this was a genetic variant that can cause some sort of pathogenic outcome in the organism. That's a great example where there's a lack of understanding at the human level on what really drives some of the patterns in nature, the patterns in society, the patterns in behavior that are kind of emergent phenomena, perhaps, that these AI models are starting to identify.